I'm Neil Thomas. Right. Is that correct? I'm Patrick Cronin. <laughs> and he's Neil Thomas. Yeah. And together, we're Neil Thomas and Patrick Cronin. Oh, remember. The bunker tapes. Mm. How did the bunker tapes come about? Um, recording on the recording Zoom. on the Zoom? It's just bunker tapes. I know who Patrick is and he knows who I am. And pretty much that's that's all we need to know. Well, the, the, the less the better, probably. Yeah. I climbed up the mountain. It was a steep mountain, full of uneven ground, rabbit holes, slippery grass, shale, and loose gravel. It was steep. I went up and up. I rested and I started again in the hot afternoon sun. I toiled, I sweated, I tried, until I reached the top of the mountain, and I was amazed. The view was breathtaking. It was a single mountain, and I could see the horizon, over plains, and gullies, and dried creek beds, and grasslands, and flocks of birds, and in the distance, a resting herd of kangaroo, and behind that, a beautiful blue sky. And as I turned to take in more of the vista, I noticed a massive rock. And hewn from that rock, there was a bench. And I said to myself, how did that rock get there? How did they carve that bench? Did they drop it in by helicopter? Helicopter? And then I noticed Someone on the bench. Someone that looked like me. It was me. I put my backpack down on the grass and sat down beside them on the bench. We turned together and said, Hi. The feeling was beautiful. Together, we took in the view. We stood up together. We held hands together. We embraced together. And we walked to the edge of the mountain together. They turned and said, don't worry, you can fly. Don't worry, you'll never die. Don't worry, you can fly. And they leapt into that space and they soared and swooped over the land, over the plains and the grasses, over the creek beds and gullies, over the flocks of birds and over that herd of resting kangaroo and into that beautiful blue sky.
So I'll just say I'd like to dedicate the, the piece, uh, well, dedicate this video to my f dear friends, uh, Barb and Kevin. Kevin invited me to perform a song to celebrate um, Barb's passing away. So that was the basis for the song. So I performed it at the funeral and then handballed it to Patrick to fix the fix it up really to to um, arrange it to beef it up to um, make it what it is today well there's always, there's always a backwards and forwards you know where, where Neil sends me a file I do some stuff send it back so we eventually come to you know where we stop complaining and commit it well we've known each other a long time probably wow since 1994 or 5, I think mm. we worked, mm -hmm. worked on some projects together at Melbourne Festival. I suppose this latest collaboration recently came out of uh, working a project in Werribee called Red Arcade that, that Neil directed, Neil and David Welts, uh, and I did some music for. And it was an installation in an arcade in Werribee. And it's the first time we'd worked together for years. And we discovered in the interim we'd both become a bit interested in making like electronic music. So we started geeking out and talking about gear and, uh, you know, making electronic music, you know. And, you know, we're not, we're not young. So <laughs> it came to us in, uh, in, in later life and bonded again. And then thought, well, you know, let's, let's try something. This is the official and unofficial opening of Red Art Pond. I think there was, when, when I did a little voice work for you, a little voiceover, I really loved it. Come over to Patrick's house and did a little, that little crazy spruik voiceover. And yeah. uh, I just wanted to keep on doing that, actually. It was, so, it was so much fun. And then we had pandemic and, and um, yeah. things got very complicated. And it was, it was very intermittent. We just, it was, mm. we were just brushing across each other. And but the pandemic gave <clears> us, uh, a, a reason to to do something, I suppose, and it, it was something we could do remotely. I mean, Neil was improvising text. No one is thinking about the vampire. Sending it to me, I was putting some music behind it. Neil would sometimes send snippets of music that I would adapt. We'd go backwards and forwards. Occasionally, we'd get together um, when we could you know, when we were allowed to and, and work together in the room. But, but started making little videos based around Neil's improvised text uh, and some music underneath. What you're hearing now are the sounds of your ancestors. And that's the bunker tapes in Neil's back shed in Preston. The people who did respond really, really, really loved them. And to, really, to be honest, we were kind of underwhelmed with the um, with response, we, we thought it was going to be national, if not international, fame. Yeah, but, like, 
we're still in Preston. Was sitting waiting for the phone to ring. We thought we'd totally hit it, nailed it. I think the Seniors Festival might change all of that, though. Mm. We're, we're hoping for a worldwide audience through, through this. Victorian Seniors Festival 2021. Keeping on, keeping on. Those syllables sound really strange when you keep repeating them. They do. Keep anon. Keep anon. Keep anon. Keep anon. Keep anon. It's keep, keep an on. It made me keep, think about keeping your clothes keep, on. Pun on. I was just thinking, keep your clothes on. I thought, do we need to be telling these older folk to, to keep, keep their clothes, their clothes on? on? No. no. They can just take their clothes off. Just let them take yeah, their clothes do off. Do what they like. I mean, hell. You've got to be some sort of benefit Benefits for being old. To our, yeah. Take your clothes off whenever you want. We um, are the punker Don't worry. You never die.